And if you thought Layla Fernandez was going to run away with this one, you are wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Carolyn Garcia comes storming back in the second set, and we're in a third. Tennis in a Minute, I'm your host, Get Energy. I give you the rundown every day, up-to-date tennis coverage, live coverage. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the first set, very competitive. Fernandez took it, and I've been saying it. I want to see Layla close out these first sets. She's had two opportunities earlier this year to close out the first set against Garcia. She was up and could not hold on. She got the job done today. However, Carolyn comes storming back in the second set. The difference between sets for Carolyn Garcia, double faults. Three double faults in the first set. She literally gave Layla a free service game. She reduced that to one in the second set. Right now, we are on serve in the third set. Carolyn's starting to make double faults again. Layla Fernandez now, if she can get a break, she'll win this match. That's right. It's 5-4 right now. Layla Fernandez just held 40-15. to Carolyn Garcia needs to hold to stay in this match. The big key here in the third set is... Layla's forcing Carolyn Garcia into nine unforced errors. She is making the mistakes, and both ladies are playing highly aggressive at the net, but Layla Fernandez, top five fastest players on tour when it comes to running vertical. She is winning 80% of the net points. If she can mix in a couple net drop shots on Carolyn Garcia's serve, she might be able to get a point or two, step up, hit a winner, and win this match. Hold on, Layla Fernandez, Carolyn Garcia, down to the business end of the third and final set. Someone will have to leave immediately.